Right, today we are starting a lecture on the basis of very basic concepts related with the cardiovascular system, right, especially the histology of cardiovascular system and very basic anatomy of cardiovascular system, right. Uh, what is the basic, the very basic function of cardiovascular system? Yes, ma'am. This is simply a transport system. Cardiovascular system is basically a transport system, right and it is supposed to transport the nutrients to the tissue. It is supposed to transport the uh, white blood cells and antibodies which are the components of the immune system to the tissues and it is supposed to transport the hormones right to the tissue and from the tissue it transport away the metabolic waste products right and this system consists of one pump that is called heart and a closed vascular system through which blood is circulating. So let me draw that. First of all I will draw the left side of the heart. Now this is the left atrium, right blood from the left atrium goes to the left, yes please, ventricle, right and blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle passes through which valve? Which valve is here? This is mitral valve. Right? This is left side of the heart. So on the left side of the heart, blood is initially received in the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood goes to the left ventricle through the mitral valve and when left ventricle contract, it push the blood into aorta, not pulmonary artery, it push the blood to, yes, aorta, right. So this is the left side of the heart and if we look on the right side of the heart, uh, on the right side of the heart, the blood is coming from the body right through superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, blood is coming from the body to the right heart, the venous blood and in the right heart it is coming where exactly, what is this, right atrium, right and from the right atrium it passes through this valve and what is the name of this valve, yes, tricuspid valve, tricuspid valve and through the tricuspid valve it is going to the right ventricle, it is going to the right ventricle and from the right ventricle it passes out into yes again blood is coming from all over the body through the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava through the right atrium, from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve it comes to the right ventricle, from the right ventricle it is going out through, yes, pulmonary artery and while it is going out it has to pass through a valve here and what is this valve? Pulmonary valve, is that right? Again, I will draw these component separately, now you have to tell me, first I will draw the left heart then I will draw the right heart. Now you will tell me, in the left heart what is this component? Left atrium, what is this valve, mitral valve, what is this left, ventricle and what is its outflow, aorta, is that right, outflow is aorta. Now I am going to draw the right heart, right heart is, input is superior vena cava and yes please, inferior vena cava, they bring the blood to right, yes, atrium, from the right atrium through which valve it is going to the right ventricle, tricuspid valve and from here it is going out into pulmonary artery. Now the input valve, the input valves are on the left side the input valve is input to the ventricle, the valve is mitral valve. On the right side the input valve is, yes, tricuspid valve. So we can say as far as the ventricle are concerned, mitral valve and tricuspid valve are the input valve, is that right? And on the left side it is mitral valve, on the right side it is tricuspid valve, is that right? And why we call it tricuspid valve, let's have a look on this valve. 
if you look at the valve you are standing yourself here and you look down on this valve right it has three cusps it has three leaflets because it has one two and three leaflets that is why this valve is called tricuspid valve mitral valve has two leaflets two leaflets anterior and posterior that is why mitral valve is called also bicuspid valve is that right because bicuspid valve or mitral valve and tricuspid valve are between the atria and the ventricles so they are also called atrioventricular valves what are they also called atrio ventricular valves because both of these valves are between the atria and ventricles is that right so these are the you can say input valve into ventricles then what are the output valves output valve from the left ventricle blood is going to aorta so valve which is put over here this is called aortic valve right and the valve which is from right ventricle to pulmonary artery this is called pulmonary valve right from the right ventricle to pulmonary artery right this passage is having a valve called pulmonary valve so output valve from the heart are aortic valve on the left side and pulmonary valve on the right side any question up to this now i will rapidly draw the basic structure of the heart and you have to identify the structures i will see that i can draw it fastly or you identify it fastly right okay yes what is that right atrium what is that tricuspid valve rajes pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery now we draw the left structures and you have to be more rapid you are not that fast what is that what is that right it is left the left atrium left ventricle mitral valve aortic valve and aorta is that right no problem up to this this is the main you can say main structure of the heart right now let's put both left part of the heart and right part of the heart in perspective with the vascular tree right that what is the relationship of whole cardiac structure with the vascular connections I hope you identify this structure now. I hope you understand this is aorta. Now what really happens? All the blood from the body is coming to sphere vena cava and sphere vena cava to the right atrium and through the tricuspid valve it is going to the right ventricle from the right ventricle it is pumped into pulmonary artery through the pulmonary valve now from the pulmonary valve where the blood goes right this is going to the lungs the blood is going to the lungs right of course you know there are two lungs there is right and left but i will just draw one lung right and what really happens that pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery divides into smaller branches as it reaches lung and of course it goes into smaller branches pulmonary smaller pulmonary artery then eventually pulmonary arterioles and here are your air pockets let's suppose these are your air pockets this is representative of this is a very simple diagram and the blood will pass through pulmonary capillaries right pulmonary capillaries okay i'll make it with different colors so these are pulmonary capillaries 
right and gas exchange will be here and then well oxygenated blood from the pulmonary system will come to yes where to the left heart now this part of circulation the circulation listen carefully the concept is the circulation between the right heart and the left heart the part of circulation is called pulmonary circulation pulmonary circulation is the part of circulation between the right heart and the left heart right that pulmonary artery taking the blood to the lungs what is it pulmonary artery taking the blood to the lungs and then pulmonary arterial tree break down into pulmonary yes what is it pulmonary capillaries right and through the pulmonary capillaries you must be knowing that carbon dioxide is lost to the lungs and oxygen is gained right so what really happens that pulmonary arterial tree as it passes through the lung tissue it breaks from breaks up into breaks down into smaller arteries until the smallest arterioles break down into capillaries which are pulmonary capillaries and pulmonary capillaries are the area where gas ex, gas exchange will occur between the air spaces and the vascular system is that right carbon dioxide will be lost to the lungs and oxygen will be picked up by the blood and then oxygenated blood will move to the left heart this is oxygenated blood coming to the left heart and this oxygenated blood which is coming to the left heart of course it is draining into left atrium now what is this vessel which is bringing the blood from the lungs to the left atrium what is the name of this main vessel there are basically two vessels from the two vessels from the each lung so there are four two from the left side and two from the right side so basically how many openings are there and four what are these these are called pulmonary veins what are these called these are called pulmonary veins important point which you have to remember is that pulmonary veins are having oxy oxygenated blood is that right pulmonary veins are having oxygenated blood so what we can say left atrium is receiving the blood oxygenated blood from the lungs left atrium is receiving oxygenated blood from the lungs through pulmonary veins is that right now blood comes to left atrium then you know that from the left atrium it will go through which valve yes mitral valve and this oxygenated blood will come to the left yes ventricle from the left ventricle blood will be pumped into yes aorta and when blood is going to aorta between the left ventricle and yes aorta there is another valve here what is the name of this valve aortic valve right and then blood will come to the yes aorta and this oxygenated blood when it's passing through the aorta naturally aorta gives its branches is that right and this is called systemic arterial tray first there are large arteries aorta and its main branches are called large of course these are systemic artery large systemic arteries aorta and its branches then naturally from this there will be smaller medium sized arteries will be there let's suppose this is a medium sized medium sized artery and medium sized artery is also called muscular artery because it has lot of smooth muscle and large arteries are having lot of elastic tissue so they are also called elastic arteries so from the left heart blood is pumped into aorta and its main branches which are elastic arteries and from the elastic arteries blood goes into medium sized vessels which are called 
muscular artery and from there to smaller arteries and eventually for very small arteries and which are called yes arterioles arterioles these are very small right uh, large arteries are usually more than 1 centimeter in diameter large arteries are usually more than 1 centimeter in diameter right and these arteries which are called the medium sized or muscular artery their size is smaller and they are somewhere between these medium sized arteries these are smaller they are somewhere between 2 to 10 millimeters right and then arterioles are very small then smaller arteries and arterioles are very small they are about 0.1 to 2 millimeter there's no need to remember these sizes but the very important point is that blood is moving from the left ventricle into aorta and its main branches which are called elastic arteries then into medium sized arteries which are called muscular arteries and then small arteries and eventually into arterioles right then for example this is a tissue in which this blood supply is coming now arterioles break down into further small vessels which I will explain later which are called meta <coughs> meta arterioles I will explain them later and then these meta arterioles break down into very very small vessels which are called yes please capillaries right and these capillaries come together right now these capillaries are the exchange vessels because here are your tissue cells now through the capillaries oxygen will come to the tissues amino acids and glucose will come to the tissues if there is a need then white blood cells or antibodies can come to the tissues hormones can come to the tissues and from the tissue waste product like carbon dioxide and other uh, metabolic waste will go back to the circulation then from the capillaries right it will drain into venules what are these venules and venules will go into small veins right they will drain into small veins these are venules venules into small veins and small veins many of the small veins will eventually drain into yes large veins and large veins will eventually drain into yes cable system either inferior vena cava or superior vena cava and blood will be now coming back to the right heart so let me tell you again that right heart right heart right ventricle pump the blood to pulmonary arterial system pulmonary arterial system takes the blood deoxygenated blood to the lungs in the lungs through the pulmonary capillaries blood gets oxygenated then oxygenated blood goes to pulmonary veins right and from the pulmonary vein taking the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left heart into left atrium blood from the left atrium passes through the what is this mitral valve to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle blood is pumped through the aortic valve into aorta aorta and its major vessels are called branches are called major branches are called elastic arteries so blood from the major large size arteries or elastic arteries goes into medium sized arteries or muscular arteries from there it goes to arterioles and then another exchange areas another exchange area from where substances can be exchanged between the blood and the tissues right that area is capillaries and capillaries are so thin walled that there are easy easy exchange of material between the tissue cells and the blood right so oxygen is given to the tissue amino acids glucose and hormones and if antibodies are required right so 
these substances which are required by the tissue shift from the blood to the tissue cells and from the tissue cells carbon dioxide and waste products come into capillaries back and these capillaries blood will move to the venules then into small veins, large veins, vena cava and back to the right heart. In this way basically your whole circulation can be divided between the circulation between the right heart and the left heart and then circulation between the left heart and the right heart. The component of circulation between the right heart and the left heart this part of circulation is called pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation right and this part of the circulation which is between the left heart and passes through the all body and comes back to the right heart this is called yes systemic circulation systemic circulation and what was this yes pulmonary circulation is that right so basically you have primarily in the body two types of circulations there is pulmonary circulation and there is systemic circulation right for example blood which is passing through your kidneys blood which is passing through your kidneys that is part of systemic circulation right blood which is uh, coming from uh, to passing through the GIT is systemic circulation blood which is passing through these muscles is systemic circulation because blood which is coming to all these tissues is actually coming from left heart and aorta and its branches. Am I clear? Yes. 